Hey YouTube, it's uh, December 26th and I am walking in on the first day of a new project and just wanted to kind of show people what it's like when a renter moves out of a house after 10 years. So uh, I'm going to go room by room, kind of show you what's going to go on, I'm going to do uh, repairs on it and get the house actually ready to sell rather than be a rental again. So uh, here we go. Okay, so walking into the front door, that is not the door that was originally here. The tenant at some time put that in, probably because it was kicked in at least once or twice. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, this is the front room. Those shelves were in the garage, uh, so he moved them in here. And this is the most disturbing part. Every ceiling fan in the house looks like this. I don't know how a fan gets that dirty, but you can see throughout the house, all the walls are just really gross. Here's a bedroom, again, ceiling fan, disgusting. Uh, walls are all rough shape, but really not that bad when you look at the ceiling fans. Floors, thankfully, are in really good shape. We put these hardwoods in, they were pre-finished hardwoods right before this tenant moved in and after 10 years of abuse they actually still look pretty good so I don't think I'm going to have to sand those or anything. So that's great. Here's walking into the kitchen again. How the hell that happens I have no idea. But the kitchen's doesn't really give it justice in this video but it's gross dirt everywhere, appliances, just gross. And let's go into the other. Here's the second bedroom. Again, probably doesn't show up in the video, although I know that ceiling fan you can see. Everything is just really gross. But the floors are in pretty good shape, so. Okay, let's take a quick look in the bathroom. Just walking in. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. This is just really gross. Blech. Sinks nasty. So, it's going to take a lot of elbow grease. I mean, everything's in good shape. It's just really, really dirty. So, going to have to clean this all with a lot of bleach. And here's the cold air return for the furnace. I just wanted to show this. Uh, you can see it's all caked up. And with how all these ceiling fans are, the first thing I did was call to have somebody come out and service the HVAC system. Um, if the fans were that bad, I was scared to see what was going on. Here's the HVAC system. Uh, it's all sealed up right now, but I was here when the guy came out to service it, and it was actually completely spotless inside. So thankfully, I guess the tenant did change out the filters. So save the HVAC system because I don't know what the hell was going on in here, but this place was, un was disgusting. So anyway, good news there. Last, we got the two-car garage. This is a huge garage, and uh, I will admit I did put a new door in here. I've got to redo the trim on the outside because it was slightly different size than the old door, but uh, there was a broken window in the door, so I had to get that taken care of to secure the, the uh, garage and the house. Otherwise, you can see, like this garage door, no fault of the tenant, it's just falling apart. It's actually being held together with bolts up here that are, bolt, are holding the panels together. So that's gonna be need to, need to be replaced. Here's the other garage door, same deal. It's being held together. You can see them here by bolts that are holding the panels together. So this thing is 
way past being replaced. So all in all, I'm actually really not too upset. Uh, I mean, it's gross, but it has been lived in for 10 years. Um, if you think about it, if you had a tenant move in every year, year and a half, you're gonna miss six months of rent. Every time a tenant moves out, you, you have to go in and clean up. There's a month of rent you don't get. So I didn't have to do that. So I guess it makes up for it in that I'm gonna have to do a lot of work now that he's moved out after 10 years. Um, I will say that I am very happy. The guy was kind of like a scrapper, uh, flea market guy who just, I'm not exactly sure what all he did, but at one time this garage was completely full to the brim. So when he told me he was moving out, I was scared that I was gonna have to have multiple roll off dumpsters and came in and yeah, it's dirty, but uh, you know, it's not full of junk, which I was afraid of. So. Very happy about that, so I'm gonna to try to do like a daily recap of, of the progress made, and uh, we're gonna get this place fixed up, and we, I'm gonna get this place fixed up and uh, put it on the market. So uh, feel free to watch along as we go through this journey. All right, thank you.